What's up everybody? So today I've got COVID. I've had COVID for the last three or four days. It put me down for a couple days. I've been working the last two days. So I'm not totally down. I'm working, but I do not feel good. So with that being said, I'm going to give you as much energy as I've got. I'm going to put it all into this video and I want to teach you today how to win every single listing appointment. I want to talk about the market and what you need to be doing right now to take advantage of the market. I think the market is a very interesting place right this second because you know, agents, you know, a lot of you guys have been talking to your clients saying interest rates are going to be going up and up and up and you better do this, you better do that. And here we are for the last week and a half, interest rates have been coming down. They went from around five and a half to around two, uh, 5.2. So they've went down about a quarter of a point in the last week and a half, even though the feds raised their prime rate 50 basis points several weeks ago, almost a month. So we're in this situation of this incredible market where prices have leveled out because interest rates did jump up, okay? And buyers kind of put the brakes on, so the market has kind of flattened out. I'm still selling a couple things here and there for more money, right? And so I'm hearing people from different markets still getting multiple offers here and there, not as many multiple offers as they were um, several months ago. And then I'm hearing uh, of different markets that it's slowing down tremendously. So it's definitely localized, but overall we're seeing some kind of a slowdown regardless of where you are and what market you're in. But think about where we are right this second. Inventory has risen, okay? Price reductions are up, okay? We're in a market that is slowing. We have less transactions, Okay, everything is moving in that direction. So what I feel like is very interesting right this second, this week particularly, is the fact that inventory is up. All of us should have more listings. We do, we have way more listings than we had over the past couple years, and we're continuing to build inventory. But now we have lower interest rates. Like they've went down a quarter of a percent, which means that mortgage applications should be up this week. So we're gonna have demand, right? We have a little of that demand we lost come back, even though demand is still very high, we're going to have a little more demand with some inventory. So you guys, please understand the window here of opportunity that the market has presented itself, right? And the fact that if you've been doing what I've been trying to get you to do for years now, which is build your database full of property owners who you create friendships and relationships with, followed by a weekly email, right? You should have inventory right now. And you're really set up for this moment in time. You see, every moment in time is set up by what the work you put in up to that moment in time. So if you've been putting in the work like I've been begging you to do, then you're taking advantage of this moment in time. Is this going to be the last moment in time? No. There's going to be so many moments and times in the future you need to be preparing. Now, if you didn't prepare for this one, that's okay. Learn from this moment in time and go out there and build that database. You see, there's always the one activity that you need to be doing regardless of what the market's doing, what's going on. There's always that one activity that's going to drive everything. Okay? And that one activity is creating relationships with property owners in your market. That's one thing that's just never going to deviate. Now, if you say to yourself, I want to have as many closings as I can possibly have. Okay, that's fine, but that's not what we're going to focus on. That's the end result of another activity. Okay, and what we have to do in every circumstance when you find the result that you're looking for, you have to reverse engineer what actions create that result. And then once you find the one pinpointed activity that causes the reaction of that result, we go all in on that one activity. Okay, the one activity to create as many closings as you want is to create as many relationships with people in the market. I prefer property owners because those are the highest quality um, people to create friendships within your market because they buy and sell, right? If you're just focusing on buyer leads, first time home buyers, renters, things like that, right? You get some property owners in there mixed in there, but why wouldn't you completely target property owners? Right? There's more than you can ever talk to and create relationships with ever if you're working 24-7, 365. It would, you would never even scratch the surface right, of creating all the relationships, talking to everyone, filtering through the population to get to that 20 to 30% of people out there who love you enough to do business. We're not worried about the 70% who don't like us or have another agent. We want to find those 20 to 30% of people who love us, 
who want to do business with us, who need our services. We're denying them the chance because we're not putting in the work to reach out and talk to them, create the relationships, build that rapport and credibility to the point that they're ready to do something then we are their agents. So what's so interesting about the market right this second as well, when you look at it, everything they've been talking about for years has come true. Closings continue to happen every single day. Our business has doubled since interest rates started going up because now we have inventory for our buyers, right? Things loosen up, thank goodness. Okay, but there's, there's four indicators that are gonna move around and make sure closings continue to happen every single day. There's interest rates, there's supply, there's demand, and there's price. Okay, when one of these goes too far one direction, another one of these compensates to make up for it. For example, if interest rates shoot to the moon and they go to eight, nine, 10%, something crazy, what's gonna happen? Price is gonna adjust for that big movement that's gonna keep closings happening every single day by the truck loads, right? If demand comes down, price is gonna come down. If supply goes down, price is gonna come up. Right? It's always going to adjust to the point that closings continue to happen. You have to have confidence in this. Right? You have to have confidence in the market moving forward based on history that you're in an industry that's never going to go anywhere. So please have confidence in two things. Yourself, that you're here to help people, and that the market's never going anywhere. And go all in on yourself and the market. Now to wrap this up, how do you win every single listing appointment? Okay, so first off, you need to define what it is to win a listing appointment. Okay, for me, it's not the listing, right? Just to give you a hint, I'm not trying to win the listing. I'm trying to win the relationship. I'm trying to dissect the situation of that property owner to see exactly what they're trying to do, why they're trying to do it, when they want to do it, and then help them do it. Help them put a plan in place. That's my job, right? To create the rapport, help them feel comfortable enough with me that I'm there to help them through this, and then help them put together a comprehensive plan based on the timeline and motivation that they have. I said nothing about listing agreement in there, getting one signed, closing the deal. That's not part of what I do. That's a byproduct of what I do. I'm trying to get on the inside and find out exactly why they're trying to do this, what's going on in their life that's causing them to make this decision to buy or sell. Within that conversation of going deeper there, building the rapport there, building the credibility there, relating to my, to my client, to my new friend there, within that I can build out a customized follow-up process or next steps where now they know exactly what to do next, when we're going to do it, how we're going to do it. A lot of people leave listing appointments and don't really know when to follow up, how to follow up. And you don't, you don't if you don't know why they're trying to do what they're trying to do. So I'm, I'm telling you to please, I'm going to keep banging this away and keep trying to pound this at you to please go deeper with why people are trying to do what they're trying to do. Without that, you have nothing. You're just an agent trying to close a deal, right? We're not really trying to help them on a deeper level which does what? It creates so much credibility, it creates so much rapport, it nurtures them so deeply that we're now entering into that level of agent for life status where they're never going to deal with another agent because they love the fact that we went so deep and we, they know that we're here for their needs above and beyond the transaction. That's, so that's how you win every single listing appointment is by, if you can simply dissect the situation right, and figure out why they're trying to do what they're trying to do when they're trying to do it, then you've won, in my opinion. That's my win for a listing presentation, for a listing appointment, meeting the seller, absentee owner, calling them after you've priced it, whatever, whatever the process is for you, I'm trying to be that advisor. I'm trying to be that consultant for them to learn more about what's going on so that I can figure out what I can do to help them. Okay guys, take care. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys on the next video. Talk to you soon.